Hi, everyone. Welcome to our webinar session for UI UX. What is uh, UI and uh, user experience, user interface and user experience concepts? Okay, uh, let's start now. Okay, the agenda for today's discussion is uh, we're going to talk about what is UI design and then what is uh, UX design and uh, why UA UX designs are important. Okay, and uh, some of the difference between uh, UA and UX. And then uh, we'll, we'll take some of the examples of UAX and uh, some projects. What are the different projects so we can able to do it by using UAX and uh, principles of UAX and uh, what are the different tools are available to build UA UX design, okay? So this is the complete agenda for today's discussions, okay? Okay, let's start now. First of all, let's talk about what is UA design, user interface design, right? Okay, let's talk about what is uh, design. Suppose if you if you're going to start any projects, if you want to start any user front end page, right? So we need to make a design for it. Okay, design means okay, what kind of concepts has to be displayed and what is the what are the user going to go and see it, right? So first of all, we need to make go and make the design for it. Okay. So that's what this design process. Okay. The main objective of UA design is to produce the interface that is uh, both user going to interact with the uh, users right Inter sorry basically user want to interact with the multiple people right so for that they have to make some meaningful design for it okay so that's what the the design process first of all so we need to make um, visually to presence all the components the multiple components into the ux ui designer okay so we talk about uh, ux design so next is we're going to talk about ux design components okay so the main objective of UX design is used to provide the product that is simple to use. So user want to use it very uh, simple manner, right? So, and also to provide seamless of experience, like uh, user want to, with the simple change itself. So user want to get all the insights about the product, okay? So for that, we need to have the user experience so what kind of uh, uh, so suppose if you give the page what kind of benefits how the user can easily access the page right so for that we need to have the user experience design so user experience very much important right so for that we need to have it should be very very simple okay simple and seamless experience so next is we talk about ui separately ux separately right so now we're going to talk about how do we combine these two things as a user perspective, right? Suppose the main importance of UAEX design is to user friendly, as we talk about user friendly and intuitive and entertain the goods and services. Suppose uh, we need to make very clear in the uh, front end page, right? So how the user want to access it, okay? And what are the things user want to see it? And what are the things user want to, so how the user can satisfy it with this, whatever information we have given, right? So we need to make everything very, very well defined and design it. Finally, if you do that, if you do the, those kind of all the attributes, everything, right? So we'll get a lot of profits. So basically we'll get the users can increase in the organizations. Maybe user means the end front end user, right? Front end user as well as the, the clients. And also they will get a lot of profits for the organizations. Okay, what are the things has to be considered? First of all, user satisfaction, user has to be satisfied what we design it. And definitely next one is the loyalty, like uh, how we can give our uh, trustness and uh, I would say for uh, the trustful, right? The the user has to trust the whatever design we're given. So it should be trustful uh, and fruitful information. And we need to make the increased engagement to the users. Like we need to make a user most be engaged with and go and see, see for all the pages and uh, mainly for uh, advantage, competitive advantage and increasing the revenue. So this is very much important, right? So basically at the final goal could be they have to increase the revenue in the organizations. Okay, next is we'll talk about the difference between UI and UX, okay? The first different could be, we'll talk about what is UI and UX, right? So first uh, main thing could be, we need to visualize an interactive design of the product and we need to visually attractive and make it more 
interfaced to the users. So that is the main design. Right? So the, the important thing is interactive designs. So user has to have the interactive design to prepare the page, right? So in UX, so the entire user should have to satisfied. So we need to uh, satisfy all the users and for their seamless of experience, right? So, but here the first first important thing is interactive design. The second one is user experience has to be very much has to be satisfied. And uh, so we need to have the graphical interactive elements like such as buttons, radio buttons, icons, and uh, useful colors, and a lot of other geographical and graphical components has to be incorporated. And in the UX, UX part, we need to have the research and analysis and a lot of analytical things has to be performed. Like if you want to do any prototyping of the product, so that's we can do it under UX page. Next one is uh, help user navigate and interact with the products. But here help user achieve their goals, like what they want to do it, they would achieve their goals. And importantly, they have to satisfy, they have to successful for overall experience. Be at the end to end overall things, the user has to be satisfied. So for that, those things that has to be incorporated at the UX part. Okay, next we'll talk about the design process. So if you want to uh, have the complete uh, process, right? So what are the things, what are the points has to be considered, right? The first one is uh, prototyping. So mainly for uh, if you want to start any projects, anything, right? So first we need to do the POCs, the prototyping things. And uh, wireframe creations, like what are the different components and uh, what are the different uh, uh, wires has to be make it and also what are the, what are the design Patterns has to be considered. All those things has to be considered in the wireframe patterns and user testing. So this is very, very much important. So user has to be test our product, whatever the page, whatever the things were given, right? The end user, the final business user has to be perform the testing and the research and analysis. That's very much important. So, okay. We need to do, we need to know why we are doing it and what purpose we are doing it. And then only we can go on achieve what we wanted and uh, user journey mapping, suppose if you have the complete maybe three to four months of design process, so each and every month or each and every two weeks of sprint, we need to uh, interact with the users, like uh, uh, what are the review commands? And uh, if you want to do any changes, we can get the change process, right? All those things, uh, we need to closely working with user journey to get it. Okay, next we'll talk about some of the examples of uh, UA and UX applications. Suppose nowadays, after post the COVID, right? So we have uh, come up with a lot of online portals, right? So online, uh, online kind of things, right? So first one is uh, like, uh, how do we have the face? Uh, a lot of games have came came to the picture, right? Apple iPhone also. So they've introduced a lot of uh, UAX com component in the Apple iPhone and uh, like face ID detections. And a lot of user user experience. Suppose they want to make a window screen very much user want to satisfied with that, right? So that we have to consider that is one kind of examples in the UAX concepts. So next one is uh, Airbnb. Uh, it's for uh, it should be very much sorry. So we need to have the clear and user friendly interface so that uh, we can apply corresponding filter and we can personalize the. Personally, we can recommend what the user want to search it and all those things, right? And what kind of accommodation user want to perform and what is they want to search it, right? So they can, all those things has to be considered in the uh, UAX. This is one kind of examples. So next is very much important. Everybody using this uh, Google Maps, right? So Google Maps will uh, provide the lot of traffic, uh, traffic predictions and a lot of, um, uh, Google Maps, right? Nowadays they have the uh, street view, street view kind of things, as well as the uh, the traffic uh, views and roadside views. Lot of lot of um, experience, a lot of uh, uh, UX design came to the in the Google Map. So not only this, like this, lot of other examples are there. Like uh, this is very much important about this uh, UAX examples. Okay, any questions? Okay, fine. Okay, let's uh, move on to the uh, projects. Like what are the different sectors, different places we are going to apply this UX projects, right? So first one is uh, e-commerce website. Suppose I want to uh, sell my product or I want to 
have some uh, online store right so for that we need to have the very much baseline for this front end page right so then only we can sell our product and we can get a lot of uh, user customers and customers to satisfied and what they got it suppose if if suppose simple example right suppose user want to buy one product right if they want to pass through for multiple pages right so they want to go to for 10 15 pages user they won't come to the site again because they they're spending a lot of time they they're wasting their, their, their time right so instead of that we need to have very much clear user interface sections in the web e-commerce website okay so simple example right? so we amazon flipkart a lot of uh, online portal stores are there right so there we need to have the very much clear understanding and then clear images and clear information has to be given in the e-commerce website next one is uh, mobile app so nowadays a uh, lot of apps and a lot of uh, applications came to the uh, came in the market for the smartphone as well as tab tablet so there we need to uh, apply this ua ux concepts okay this is this also one kind of project for the mobile app okay so next is for uh, what is that so next is for the gaming thing right so gaming uh, mobile gaming so nowadays uh, plenty of plenty of games came to the uh, came in the market so all the games has to be user want to uh, get the satisfactions so then only the games the more people they can buy it so they will they will get uh, benefits out of it right so then only the user can uh, use it so it means the gaming app also the ux uh, main thing will come to the picture okay so next concept is what are the principle of uax so what are, suppose if you want to design it right so what are the concepts has to be what are the principles we need to follow right so first one is user design the centralized design suppose uh, if your team uh, maybe five 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 to ten people are working right so if you don't have the centralized design each and every people they will have the one own design and finally, end product, it won't come in the what we expected, right? So for that, we need to have the user centralized design has to be placed. Next is consistency, like uh, consistency means, uh, suppose uh, uh, the font size and then page width and what kind of buttons, what kind of uh, images we are using, right? All those things should be same consistent formats and clarity. So we need to have the use, uh, useful colors and uh, meaningful colors and the information should be clar clarity okay and simplicity this is very much important if you have give some lot of theory lot of uh, plenty of uh, descriptive information giving right user user they cannot read it so we should be very simple and cryptic information has to be given and then accessibility as i told you right so if you want to do the operations if you want to do any booking or something right so it should be very accessible to the front end users end users simple one so user want to uh, walk through for 10 15 pages right they're not accessing it's very difficult for them right for accessibility and then feedback so feedback we need to get the user feedback based on that we need to go and modify it and we need to incorporate the changes flexibility and performance also I mean, performance is very much important right the performance simplicity so i would say for all the principles are we need to consider to do the uex applications the performance simple example right suppose uh, user want to see some reports on the screen right so they are getting the data after 10 15 minutes it is not good design right it's not a good performance so we need to consider the performance also so how do we load the images and how do we um, get the data from the database and give it to the front end front end ux application right the performance also has to be considered so basically we have to take care of all those eight principles to do the ux applications Okay, next is uh, we'll talk about what are the different tools are available. I would say for tools, right? Yeah. So what are the different uh, tools are available for UX? So first one is a sketch, Figma, like uh, Adobe. Uh, it's Adobe also. We can do a lot of uh, flashes and envisions access. So these are the different uh, tools to do that UX, UX applications. Okay, guys, thank you guys. Thank you for joining the webinar program. Okay, thank you all. I'll just end the meeting. Thank you.